Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. Just to recall in our last video, we have discussed the basics of the Python programming in our 1-1 notebook. So we will discuss it a bit more in our 1-2 notebook. This we will discuss how we can add comments in our code. And then we will discuss a bit more about errors which we will face many errors ko face karenge due to our mistake while developing our code. Similarly, we will discuss karenge variables and different data types and then how we can combine different types of strings. The, although we have discussed different types of operator in our 1-1 notebook but we will discuss a bit more about plus equal to operator as well. And lastly, we will discuss a very interesting exercise and if you solve this exercise by your own that means you have done a lot that you have basic program so we'll open it up and you can see a bunch of text that uh, a python program is just a collection of text file just ko hum source code bhi kehte hain that contain instruction which computer can read and then perform the action that's specified in the text file so let's first consider a very simple program uh, it contains only a single line of python source code so desired output hasil karne ke liye hum uh, shift plus enter ya control enter ko press karenge so हमारे पास इसकी output hello world है change it whatever you want just write it in the apostrophe press control enter or shift enter the desired text within the apostrophe is printed here so now we move toward the comments we can include comments in our code using hash character if in a cell you can see a comment is added before this code and you can see that we have entered a hash before this line the computer will not process this line the output is hello world only Isko again enter kare and again we want to write for instance this will get us the desired output so if we run this without the hash character you will see that we will face an error this is a syntax error and invalid syntax so if we add a hash character before this line you will see uh, it will only processing print hello world so comments are helpful and we can explain it a bit more about that what our code is. So there is another shortcut key to enter the comment. If you select your whole line, press control plus forward slash, you can see it will automatically add the hash character and the whole line will be considered as a comment. And if you again run it, you can see the output is hello world. Okay, so now we will discuss the error. When we make mistakes in our code, Python will attempt to provide information about the mistake in an error message. So most of the time, when you develop your code, develop kar rahe honge, you will face a lot of errors. So uh, it is a good thing to go through all such kind of errors you uh, face. Karenge. So I would suggest that you run different types of errors deliberately. Run kare. You can understand that what kind of errors are going to generate and how to deal with such kind of errors. So for instance, if we have a statement, hai, isko hum, uh, run kare. you can see that sign text error and the error is EOL while scanning string literal. So EOL means that end of line error. So this is an end of line error. That means that we have to press apostrophe at the end of this line as well. So now it is a string. So if we press it now, you can see isko as it is here pe output ki form mein lekar aa raha jo humne is apostrophe mein yahan pe enter kiya so the above line produces a syntax error which means the code is not written correctly so in this case string is missing an apostrophe so i have intentionally included a lot of errors throughout this course uh, so uh, you receive a lot of experience while debugging code which is an important part of learning programming uh, having to fix broken code is also a great way to challenge and improve your understanding so throughout these notebooks, you should fix all the errors before moving on to the next cell. To enhance your understanding, you fix all errors in this notebook. So coming toward the variables and data types. A variable stores data in memory such as number or text. Let's create some variable and then output their values. So this is our variable and we have assigned a value of 1 to x. If you just press Ctrl or Shift Enter, you can see the output is 1. So similarly, here we have x ko value assigned ki hai 1 and then again in this variable x ko humne value assigned ki hai 7 and y is 38. So first we want to print x value and then we want to uh, check the output of y. Then x plus y ko ek variable assigned ki hai val. So we want to also check that what would be the result of the VAL which is actually the summation of x plus y. So 7 plus 38 it would be 45. So now if we run this cell, you can see that first it will print 
x value and then it will print the y value and the third value would be the summation of x plus y so you can see uh, this is the print x and this is 38 is the print y output and the third one is the print uh, val value so you can practice it as well then we have uh, we have assigned a variable uh, university name as my university and we, if you want to check the output of uh, this variable you can see the output is what i have entered in the apostrophe my university so each variable has a particular data type such as strings or integer here are a few examples of the common data types as string integers floating points and boolean variable these are the different data types just go on one by one discuss karenge for instance anything which is in apostrophe is a string so a string is a sequence of text or you can say collection of alphabets or words which are enclosed in apostrophe or you can say anything which is uh, enclosed in single quotation or double quotation you can call it string you can also use uh, double quotation for the strings as well and uh, this is the same thing so the output will be the same and then we have uh, integer variable a whole number or anything which has numerical values these are the whole number and we called it uh, integer variable and then we have the float variables decimal number anything which are in the decimal values we will call it in python as a float number and then we will have boolean variable so these are the boolean variables we have assigned a value awake either true or false yes or no in this way it works so if we write true value with a capital t then that means this is a boolean variable if we write t in a lower case then so it wouldn't be a boolean variable so it is just alphabets we have assigned to this variable so place apostrophe uh, at its both sides so now it will be converted into a string so uh, so for the boolean variable we have to type it for the tree and you can see it will automatically be bold it shows that this is a boolean variable special character if we run this cell you can see we have the first uh, the print course name the data science fundamental then we have year 2021 and this is the value of the pi because we have write the print this value and then we have set that print awake and the output is true so now we can perform arithmetic operations on uh, numerical variables so uh, here we have assign x value of 4 and y assign 9.2 so this is an integer and this is a float we'll perform the arithmetic operations such as x plus y x minus y and onward so you have to just pause the video and perform all these operations by yourself and uh, let's see that what would be the output so if we run this cell uh, you can see that the output is 13.2 similarly we have sign x 4 and y 9.2 and if we run this code then we have the output is minus 5.199999 you can see that instead of 5.2 we have the values in more decimal points this is because y is a float variable so that is why it will give us the values in more decimal points you can also multiply x with a y and if you run this you can get 36.8 similarly you can run all these other operators as well so x divided by y is 0.4 here we have the percent character so this is actually a modulo operator this will not get the percentage but in fact this modulo operator uh, will be used to get the remainder of our division likewise if we have two asterisks between any variable it means that x exponent 2 or x power 2 the answer would be the 16 so if we uh, run this cell the answer is 16 so likewise we have so we have this cell um, you have to run this cell by your own for instance we have the season equal to summer and we want to check its output print season now you have to enter the new value of the season and then print this value as well and also here you have to change the value of the season to something else so just stop this video and run it by yourself so i will give the variable another value like the season is maybe spring so put it in static and then i want to print season as well and your code here would be again season is equal to winter and now i want to again check this season as well so it will print one by one first it will print value of season i have assigned initially summer and then it will print spring finally the output of this would be the winter so if we run this cell 
So one by one it, it will print all these variables value. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.